Hello, today I'll be showing you guys how to make and use structures. So, structures are a useful part of Racket. The main idea of structures is you can hold multiple fields into a single variable. So, if you're familiar with imperative languages, you'd probably understand the main concept of storing multiple fields in a single object. It makes encapsulation a lot easier. So, the basic syntax for encapsulating all the data is you would use define struct. And struct is kind of like a structure. So we would have the structure name, and inside here we would list the parameters. So let's say number and uh, let's say type and value, and that's it. Now, in order to define the structure, so we define the structure. Now let's actually use it. We can define a constant. So let's say demo, and the value of this will be make card uh, heart. Let's say seven. So this is just a normal constant, nothing special. Now, oops, seems like screen four crashed. Um, we can actually just do demo now and see what happens. So we see demo is a make card hard seven. Now an important part of this is we actually want to be able to get information from it. So if I do card type and then I do demo, this will actually return hearts. And now this is what you do: you specify the object name. Do a dash and then you do the field type. So when you make the variable, you do make card, but when you want to access it, you actually append it afterwards. So let's try that also in value. So demo, you got a seven, and it's a very interesting concept. So you could just have methods that return make card. So I can just make a, I can actually make a method called create card. This is pretty weird. To make card for this, but I can have the type and the value. Now inside here, I can have make card type value, which just returns it. So let's try and run this, see what happens. Create card. I want a hearts seven. Returns make card. Now you could do equal. Create card part seven demo and it returns true. Now this is the simplified version of this, isn't it? You can't go any more simplified. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's very simple, the main idea of it, and you can combine multiple different types in these parameters. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.